this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, in verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but then it's not yet. Matthew 24, in verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory. And unto to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom. And Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel. And his only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Havashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwa Kodas, the Holy Tongue. And this is a news article from TimesofIsrael.com. As we see in the uh, ongoing uh, escalations between Hamas versus uh, the Israeli Defense Force, as we see the uh, escalations are seen in different, in different multi fronts areas over there in the Middle East and it says a major rocket barrage towards Jerusalem stops Kenneth's session sending MKs to uh, shelters it says the Israeli Defense Force says several military posts on the Lebanon border has been come under gunfire and a tank was hit by an anti-tank guided missile it says there were no injuries in all the incidents, according to the IDF. It says the, uh, the IDF says troops has responded with artillery fire against the sources of the fire. Hezbollah claimed responsibility for the gunfire attack earlier. At 6.15 p.m., IDF names eight more soldiers killed in the Gaza war. It says the Israeli Defense Force named others eight soldiers during the war which began on October 7th mostly on the border with the Gaza script so these basically like updates of the ongoing uh, escalations that's taking place over there in the Middle East throughout Lebanon throughout, throughout Ashland throughout the West Bank throughout the Gaza script throughout the Palestinian territory as we you know, seeing the escalations continue to increase and intensify. And we'll bring up that Matthew 24 and verse 7 again. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, and that's what we're seeing in the world today. Uh, one nation rising up against another nation. And that can create a lot of seditions, a lot of uprisings, a lot of wars, a lot of tensions and escalations. And as we see the uh, one nation of armies rising up against another nation of armies, one nation of kingdoms rising up against another nation of armies and kingdoms. And this is the book of uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 24. And this is the book of Mark chapter 3, and verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And I believe it was one report because I was, you know, uh, keeping, you know, I was watching out for updates on the uh, Israel-Palestine situation and the Hamas versus Israel situation as well, too, of a multi-front war over there, over there in the Middle East. And it was, um, I believe, Anthony Blinken was supposed to meet with the uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu or representation of uh, is of the IDF over there uh, as of today if I'm not mistaken and then you had the uh, false report of a potential ceasefire between both sides but Benjamin Netanyahu uh, diffused that report so that f report was kind of false so what that scripture comes into mind of uh first Thessalonians chapter five and verse uh first Thessalonians chapter five and verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction come upon them. And that's uh Matthew twenty four verse six of the uh, wars and rumors wars. 
So we're seeing a lot of increasing of these uh, rumors of wars that's taking place in the world today. Not just only the uh, Israel-Palestine situation. We have having uh, wars, wars and commotions of wars that's taking place around the world as well, too. But this is the main focus of the uh, Israel-Palestine situation and Hamas versus the Israeli Defense Force as well, too, of a increasing multi-front war over there in the Middle East. But continuing on, this is the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 24. And if a kingdom be of divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? We're seeing uh, kingdoms divided, kingdoms of armies divided against one another. That's why we see escalations and tensions and a lot of wars and commotions, just like you read the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. Yeah, that's what we're seeing in modern day times, a lot of increasing of uh, wars and commotions. So we see an increase in wars over there in the Middle East and around the world as well, too. So kingdoms of armies rising up against one another and they divided against one another as well, too. And we're going to continue to see that increasing. As I read it again, this is the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 24, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Go back to the book of, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to bring out that Luke 21, and verse 9, since I mentioned that as well, too. Cross reference to Matthew 24, and verse 6 through verse 7 and this is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 9 but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions be not certified for these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by as a little black highlighted right there says things to come Luke 21 and verse 10 then say he unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom right like I mentioned again Nations rising up against one another, uh, uh, rising up against one another, and different nations of armies and kingdoms of armies rising up against one another, and we're going to continue to see that increase. So, with that, hopefully, this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying on the ongoing increasing escalations throughout over there in the Middle East of an increasing multi war that's taking place over there throughout Lebanon throughout the Gaza script, throughout the West Bank, and throughout Israel, and throughout Jerusalem as well, too. So all the attacks on all multi-front areas over there in the Middle East, cross-border areas over there in the Middle East is taking place as the, uh, as the uh, uh, Gaza versus, you know, the Gazanians, which is the uh, Hamas, um, escalating versus the Israeli Defense Force as it's continued to increase those escalations over there in that area. So with that, hopefully this uh, news article was edifying from the times of Israel.com as, uh, as of today, October the 15th, 2020. No, October the, f I would say this is, uh, yeah, October the 16th. Yeah, October the 16th. You have October the 16th, 2023, at today at 5.26 a.m. You know, because time zones are kind of different over there in the Middle East in the comparison to the United States. But once again, like I mentioned again, uh, as it says from the Times of Israel.com, and the title of the highlight of the uh, news article, and it reads, Major Rocket Barrage Towards Jerusalem Stops Kenneth Session Sending MKs to Shelters. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to take a havel by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel and His only begotten Son, uh, by Hashem in the name of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.